Today's video is brought to you by CaseyGolden.com. That's right, my very own website. I've got yet another merch update. We have these adorable field stickers, my latest obsession. I love these, so cute. And to go along with your stickers, we have these field of flower prints. I love these illustrations. Again, my latest obsession. And let's not forget that this one is holographic. Ooh, look at it. Only at CaseyGolden.com. Okay. Let's get into the video. The Year of the Crayon continues with these adorably themed and tiny packs of crayons that I found at the dollar store. We have metallic, pearl, neon, pastel, and glitter. Each of these packs of crayons comes with only eight crayons per pack and they are themed towards whatever theme they have. I thought it would be cute to create an illustration based on each of these packs by using only the crayons in each of these packs. We have metallic, maybe I'll make a robot. Glitter, something glittery. We have five packs of eight crayons. Let's get started. Starting off with our metallic crayons, going into this, I wasn't really sure what to expect. What is metallic compared to, say, I don't know, sparkly? I think the difference between these colors is just the amount of colors or maybe the type of colors they chose. I was really enjoying the names of the colors. Robot Canary, Big Dippo Ruby, Cyber Grape. I mean, these names alone were very inspiring, but I already had robots on the mind. Whenever I think metal, metallic, things I think robots so right away I wanted to approach this illustration with robots and I wanted to do something very colorful I've been doing a lot of grass illustrations lately I'll admit so my first thought was killer robots in a field of grass shooting colorful lasers from their eyes so that's the approach I took as tempting as it was to create some sort of robot canary or cyber grapes. Robots shooting lasers was definitely on my mind and I was sticking to it. I don't know what the big white circle is in the background. Maybe it's like a big blazing sun. I just know that I wanted something white in the background where the colors could pop off of them. I don't know. I created a fade from the steel blue to the cyber grape in the background. It was a really cool gradient and I really do enjoy that for a sky color. Moved on to our grass with the illuminating emerald color shading with steel blue. A little bit of cyber grape in there just to add some color. And then it was time to move on to our lasers and boy did I have fun creating these fiery hot lasers. I decided to focus on cool colors for the background like purple, blue, and green, and then focus on these warm red, orange, and yellow colors for the lasers, just to make sure that the different parts of the illustration stood out to be their own. And I just, I love these lasers, look at them. They're hot as heck. I played around with the transparency of the grass behind them, and that's it, that's our robot attack. Metallic themed illustration. to our pearl crayons. I wasn't sure what to expect with this one except maybe a sort of sheen or shine. You can barely tell but I guess there's some sort of like different coating on them. Basically they just kind of look like crayons with a waxy white surface on them. Kind of basic. Nothing to write home about. We do have a rainbow of colors. Once again the names were sort of inspiring. Hot Cocoa, Orange Peel, Shooting Star, Lavender Silk, but none of these names are really screaming pearl to me. And to be honest, the only thing I could think of when thinking about pearl was literally a pearl under the ocean or something. I don't know. So I decided to just use this as a chance to experiment with my grass illustrations with crayons. I get a lot of requests from you guys to combine my obsession with creating these flower field illustrations with crayons. And I've got to be honest, I knew it wouldn't go well but I wanted to give it a shot. The thing about using gouache with my flower field illustrations is that you can easily gradient between the green colors and layer them and create these nice grass strokes. With crayons, you can't really layer them and yeah, it, I don't know. <laughs> Just to make this piece a little bit more whimsical and fun, I put dolphins in the field of grass because 
When I think of fields of grass, I definitely think about dolphins. <laughs> and why not? It's a crayon illustration. We have to put a rainbow in there somewhere. So the tail of one of our dolphins has a rainbow coming off of it. Very beautiful. So far I was feeling, I mean, okay. We had these white dolphins popping off of the grass. It was looking pretty magical. That rainbow definitely popped off. I was happy about how the layer of green went on top of the blue to create a different layer of shading. I did try to add a little bit more depth with more shadow using purple, tried to create blades of grass, resorted to black, tried to add flowers, had to use again black and brown because you can't really put yellow or orange flowers on top of a green crayon so this is an interesting piece. Let's move on. <laughs> have our neon crayons and well they are neon that is for sure there's a lot of very warm colors in the the set once again the names are amazing atomic tangerine outrageous orange shocking pink laser lemon though i will say the one thing i kind of found funny about this set is that we just have shamrock at the end it's not really a neon green it's just kind of a green which I found really odd because the rest of these colors are very neon why do we just have a green <laughs> so I actually took inspiration from the green being so solid and green and the actual neon colors being so sort of light and pastel and nice looking and I thought I would create once again a grass field and in the background I was going to create a I guess a sunset with very vibrant or neon colors in the sky. Just to use more of that green I put a giant plant growing in the background. Sure why not. I also layered the green on top of the blue just to try to add a little bit of shading to the green just to separate those two sort of hilly areas. It didn't go down too too well but I also tried to use the crayon by pressing down not as hard for other spots just to help create shading. Again maybe I have some work to do with crayons but I was looking forward to that sky. The gradient between I think I started off with shocking pink to carnation pink, melon, outrageous orange, atomic tangerine, laser lemon. This is where I went wrong. I tried to mix a little bit of shamrock and then sky blue in there. Kind of just looks like a grass explosion in the corner. And then I added some rainbow reflective lights on the bottom of the clouds and that I think really brought the piece together. It's just so colorful and magical and just really I think has the spirit of crayons. When I think about crayons I think about colorful illustrations. Next up we have our pastel crayons and weirdly I was actually really looking forward to them. They just look so soft and cute and I think I've actually kind of been sort of experimenting with pastels lately. We have another repeat of a color. We have carnation pink that was also in the neon. Sky blue was also in the neon. This time we have normal canary not robot canary and I really like that spring green. It's kind of like a sickly barf color so that means I love it. So going into this piece I all I could think of I guess when I think about pastel rainbow is a unicorn. We had to draw a unicorn. But I definitely wanted to add a background on this piece of some sort and with that deep purple mountain's majesty mixed with the periwinkle and sky blue I thought we could make the perfect pastel space scene. So I tried to really scribble the crayon to help suggest that there were stars. I don't know how you go about adding individual white stars when you're using crayons so I thought scribbling was going to be the best bet when trying to create stars in space. I don't know if it's perfect but it did add a lot of interesting texture and it did help blend the colors together. It ended up fun so I'm not going to question it. It does sort of look like space to me. I mean I'm happy with it. It's very colorful. It's very pastel space themed. 
And I think our unicorn is just super adorable. Again, this is another piece I just felt like really had the spirit of crayons in it. It's a very silly horse. It's colorful. It looks like something a kid would draw. It's fun, it's playful. I love this piece. Oh, and I guess I did focus, like I said, purple periwinkle and sky blue for the background. And then I focused with the unicorn carnation pink apricot canary to use warm colors to separate the unicorn from the space. And I used spring green and sea green and a little bit of canary for the planets in the background. And I think that definitely helps separate each chunk of this illustration while also keeping them all together because they are very pastel. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces. Just look at that silly unicorn. I love it. final set of crayons we have glitter and like I mentioned before I was like what's the difference between glitter and metallic I think it really just comes down to the colors though I will say strangely these colors had no names on them so that's really weird I will say the cyber grape looks very similar to purple except that this purple actually had sort of bronze sparkles in it while the cyber grape had silver sparkles in it same with the black the black of this crayon had sort of bronze sparkles while the rest of the colors had silver. A very interesting choice. But anyways, let's get into it. Once again, I had rainbows in the mind. But this time, instead of focusing on a white character where it really pops off of the background with the colors, I thought it'd be really cute to focus on black characters. So I had these black adorable bunnies just playing around in clouds and using them like slides. And this piece is probably my favorite just because it's very bold something about the black went down so smoothly and I enjoyed using that black crayon so much it also layered very well which was really weird I don't know what it is about black crayons that makes them so superior but you know what hell yeah <laughs> if it's easier to use I'm not gonna complain about it so blending the rainbow crayons together was really fun I love making rainbows with crayons I don't know why I just find it fun it's very easy to do though I will say when I was filling the sky with the blue I I did run into one problem that I was really curious about because when I use these crayons, obviously there is dry glitter mixed into them. So I did feel it was very sandy, like it was very crunchy and dry feeling. And there was a couple of times when I ran into chunks of just pure glitter that made it so hard to color anything. It was just so dry and grainy. I guess I could have scribbled it out or cut off a chunk to move on, but I just kind of pushed through. It was it wasn't super hard, it was just kind of like the texture was interesting. And that's it. I actually didn't notice the glitter of this piece too much until I looked at the footage afterwards and it just looked like it was sparkling and shining so much. So that's really fun. This piece is really cute, probably my favorite. It's just so bold and the shapes are great. I love it, it's cute. And that's it for our crayon sets. Huge thank you to what CaseyGolden.com for sponsoring this video. Check it out. And a huge thank you to the patrons for supporting me every month. You guys are amazing. If you want early access to these videos, coloring pages, live streams, and more, check out the link to my Patreon in the description. Thank you guys all so, so much for your support. See you in the next one. Bye.